Let's work out an example of the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. So I'll let A be equal to the real three by three matrix, one, four, one, zero, two, two, one, zero, minus three. We want to verify the Cayley-Hamilton theorem for A. Then we want to use the Cayley-Hamilton theorem to find the inverse of A squared plus the identity matrix. Now, the Cayley-Hamilton theorem states A is an N by N matrix with entries in the field F. We form the characteristic polynomial of A. So we'll get a monic polynomial of degree N with coefficients in our field if we form the matrix polynomial by replacing lambda with A, multiplying the constant term by the identity matrix, then this expression is equal to the zero matrix. Now, in our special case, we form the characteristic polynomial, so the determinant of lambda I minus A. Since I have a three by three matrix, we could use our trick for computing the determinant. So we multiply down each diagonal to the right, take the sum, and then subtract what we get when we multiply down each diagonal to the left. That gives us lambda cubed minus eight lambda. So to verify Cayley Hamilton, we just compute a cubed minus eight a. So I work out a squared, we work out a cubed, and then we see that a cubed minus eight a is equal to the three by three zero matrix. For the second part, we want to find the inverse of a squared plus i using the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. Now, first we note lambda cubed minus eight lambda and lambda squared plus one are relatively prime, so there are no common factors. We can invoke Euclidean algorithm for polynomials. So, from that we have, there will be polynomials r and q, such as r times lambda cubed minus eight lambda, plus q times lambda squared plus one is equal to one. If we convert this to a matrix equation, so I'll replace lambda with a, multiply any constant terms by the identity matrix. This term goes to zero by Cayley Hamilton. We're left with q of a times a squared plus the identity matrix is equal to the identity matrix. So our inverse is Q of A. Now, we don't need all of that. I'll just take lambda cubed minus eight lambda, multiply by lambda, and then we'll just do the long division. Now, if we decode this, I have lambda times lambda cubed minus eight lambda equals lambda squared plus one times lambda squared minus nine plus nine convert to a matrix equation. So this term will go to zero, and that'll be equal to a squared plus the identity matrix times a squared minus nine identity matrix plus nine times the identity matrix. So our inverse is gonna be minus one ninth, a squared minus nine i. We check our work. So we work out a squared plus i. We work out the inverse, minus one ninth, a squared minus nine i. If we multiply these two matrices together, we get the identity matrix, and that checks our work.